So today casually I just put up my computer and I saw that there was a Lightroom update pending. So just clicked on it and to my surprise it's the best update yet. What's up guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Tony Fuentes, welcome back to my channel. And if we're just meeting, in this channel I post tutorials on video and photo editing. So if you like those type of things, consider hitting the subscribe button down here and the notification bell so you can notify when I upload the next videos. Okay, today is a very quick video, real quick one. I'm just gonna show you the new update within Lightroom and they're not paying me to say any of this guys, but it's something that I've been waiting for for a long time, which is, the slider to adjust the intensity of presets. Just like when we have a, an editing program for video, we can adjust the intensity of a lot. Now we can adjust the intensity of presets for photos. Now I'm gonna do this uh, example in Lightroom Classic, but it's also applicable and it's also available for the new update within Lightroom Desktop. So let's jump into it. Okay, so here in Lightroom I have some photos selected that I'm planning to edit from my trip to the Dubrovnik. And I'm just gonna click on any of them, uh, just a random one and just start editing. Okay, so now in the develop tab, we can see that all the values are basically at zero. This is an, an unedited photo. And what I'm gonna do is click on the left panel and down here we have all our presets. Now I'm just gonna scroll through my summer preset pack, which I just released uh, for editing summer photos. It will serve you well for all types of summer photos. You can check, check it up here in the cards and down below. And it has a coupon code uh, right here with the code that's appearing on screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down through them to see which one I like the best. And you can see all of them are a bit of a filmic look, uh, quite a cinematic look, raising the shadows and making it a bit more flat. I'm just gonna stick with the one I created for the Dubrovnik, which is Pila over here. And now all the values have been altered. Now there's a main difference right now with the setup or the interface within Lightroom. And it's this little slider up here, which says preset. It tells us the name of the preset that's been applied and the amount. This is basically it guys. This is all I wanted to show you, <laughs> but it is a fantastic and very useful tool. Now this is for Lightroom Classic. Now, if you're in Lightroom Desktop, the newer version or the more fancier version of Lightroom, you can click on a preset and down below a pop-up menu, or pop-down menu will appear with this slider. Now in this case, it's up here just to make it more easy. Now you can just obviously adjust the intensity and take a look at the tone curve, how it moves. For example, if we move up, you can see that it's the same shape, it's just being accentuated and adjusted proportionally with the values that we introduced originally. Go to the extreme and it's basically the same shape, just being altered. The same thing applies if we go to the negatives, as you can see, it's the same shape, just a little bit less dramatic and a little bit less strong. Now, the same thing applies to all the values. All the values get altered from basic corrections to tone curve to color grading to HSL. The only value that doesn't apply or doesn't move at all is camera calibration. As you can see, camera calibration is down here. I've moved to the 200%, it doesn't move the values at all. Now, my theory behind this is because this tool was created to be applied to the newer Lightroom desktop that doesn't have camera calibration. So as a result, it doesn't alter camera calibration and it's not very useful if you want to alter the intensity of camera calibration. But uh, that's just my theory. It doesn't mean that they did it this way. It's just a bummer that it doesn't alter camera calibration as well. Now, how does this new tool come in handy? It comes in handy in particular, not for adjusting the photo to different lighting scenarios. For that, I like to use contrast, exposure, and white balancing to adjust the different presets to different types of lighting scenarios, but to adjusting the preset to different photos taken with different cameras. So let's say you can see this edit over here with Y on our here, we can see the before and after, and what the preset did is a very subtle edit. But what happens if we take this edit or this preset and apply it to let's say a drone photo that has a very small sensor and it's taken in a totally different manner at different color science. So now we have this photo of the same day of the same city in Dubrovnik. So let's apply the preset which is called Pila. And as you can see immediately the color science is completely off. It's oversaturated, it's over yellow and that's basically because well the sensor on the DJI the Mavic Air 2 is quite different and very small compared to the A7IV's full frame sensor. So what can we do right here? First of all, we can reduce the intensity of the preset and let's see how the preset starts to alter. Now in this case, uh, I said it was a bummer that it doesn't have camera calibration because these values don't alter. We have to turn camera calibration on. And now with Y on our keyboard, we can see the before and after and how the preset has now been applied. And we're just basically altering the values so it's a bit more uh, quaint or a bit more similar to the edit from the previous photos. And basically by playing around with the slider, we can make our edit uh, mimic the edit that was taken from another camera if we want them to have the same style. Now, this is one way you can use it. Another way to use it is basically maybe if you have 
a preset that is very harsh a very strong maybe in clarity and texture like Peter McKinnon's that go over the top of the clarity and the preset is way too strong for your photo you can now dial down the intensity so it works to your photo so maybe you can make all those presets that are very expensive useful in your edits so that's gonna be it for today guys just a very quick video like I said just covering this new tool that is very exciting for me in particular because all the creators all the photographers have been asking for this slider to adjust the intensity of the presets for so long and they finally added now Lightroom Adobe they don't sponsor me in any manner this is just me using the tools that they bring us and by this point they should be sponsoring me because I create so much content using Adobe products but eh, that's a story for another day so that's going to be for today guys I digress like the video if you did find it useful subscribe all those things I'll see you in the next one I'm Tony Fuentes cheers to all of you see you in the next one